Yes. All right, so today is episode one. I episode, oh yeah, episode one. My name is Riz, and my name is Amira. Yay! And today we're going to talk about money and money. Now, before <laughs> you you were speaking and telling me that you wanted to talk about where money came from, didn't you? Well... Where do you think money comes from? Well, I already know what money, where money comes from. Okay, go on then. So, money comes from the government. They make the money. Okay. And they, Where do they make it? They make it in the Bank of England. All right, okay. And they decide, oh, well... How much money are we going to make? Because they don't want to make too much, but at the same time, they don't want to make too little. So they choose a number to make. They print it. Okay. But, so, people can't photocopy it and make more money, so they can just, like, print a thousand pounds and then just go somewhere. They decide, no, we're going to put all of these things on and... So I will list the following. They shall put on watermarks, which are really hard to copy, really fine details that they will stamp onto it. And also, it's made of, like, cotton and linen. linen. The same thing on, like, a T-shirt material or, like, um, towel material, but it's just a bit thinner, well, quite a lot thinner. And then before the designs are even stamped on, there's, like, little pieces of kind of thread and you can't really picture that can you so yeah you're talking about people trying to copy money oh and, and it's also called counterfeiting and you're talking about counterfeiting where did you learn that i learned it from you from me yeah. i never told you about counterfeiting money and about strips or notes or anything You can learn it from YouTube. We don't want people to say that. All right, going back to money then. What is money? What do you mean, what is money? What is money? You tell me. What do you think money is? It is something, funny yeah. all, that you use to pay for stuff. Okay, so it's something that you use. You like can to use buy things. To buy things. Okay, as a... A medium of exchange. Yeah. So, like for example, okay, like in like before the Stone Age, people would just ex like have some bread, but then they'd want some like wheat or something. Okay. So they trade their bread for the wheat. Okay, and, love it. But then a few like a few years after, yeah, they thought, oh wait, why don't we make these things so we trade these instead of like. Just having to trade our everyday items. Okay. So they traded coins. And now we don't trade things. Well, we still can if we want. But the most more efficient, most like way that people like do it now, mm -hmm. like the most, what do you call it? The most common. easy okay. and common way to do it is to just give them money or an even easier way is if you have a card stored with all of your bank details and your money on it to tap it onto a machine mm -hmm. if it's lower than a heart i mean tap it on a machine or insert the little digits on the back and some bank cards even you can't see the digits on the back it's all stored in your phone oh wow okay so what so does pardon you learnt it from where? <laughs> an ad? <laughs> That's where you're getting information from, an ad. <laughs> oh, calm down. <laughs> All right, okay, so we've learnt that money can be coins, no, money can cash. be paper, money, really paper money can be in your bank account, yeah. or you can use your even your phone. Or coins. Or coins to use. Like, as... You can have your phone 
and then it's so easy we, on some scanning things you just scan your phone and it's the payment is accepted and done okay now let's take a step back so you've mentioned rewind. let's rewind <laughs> okay so you mentioned having coins and you mentioned having notes okay so that's yeah. physical money and then you talked about bank accounts and cards and using tap tap like and your digital phone money. digital money so explain to me what is a bank account a... That was fine. a bank account your mm -hmm. is a bank account bank bank account yeah is somewhere where well first of all I'll start off with the bank okay what is a bank a bank it's somewhere where you can give them to your money. Yeah. And then if you have it in for like a lot of money for like in a few for a few years. Okay. Then like every year you might get five extra pounds because they're giving your money to other people. Then oh, wow. They're giving you more money. Okay. So, so what's that called when they give when you save your money with a bank and they give you money back? What's that called? What is it called? The banks are giving you money. They're paying you return, but some people call it interest. Oh, like an interest rate. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so, and then, and you can also use bank, banks if you need to borrow some money for a mortgage, and then oh. over the, like, 25, 30 years, oh, wow. you'll pay them off. No, 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 no. Let's roll, let's roll back. Okay, so, and a also... Bank. A let's bank start. Account. No, let's start off with. Oh, okay. Let's start off with a bank. And this is like, so, oh. what is a bank? So let's talk more about banks. I just said, okay. So, mm -hmm. what do you want to know about? It? What is a bank? So, a bank is somewhere. Wait, I, I can. Is it? Is I it? Can go on. So, a bank is somewhere mm -hmm. where they can give you money, basically. But then you. Or have... where you can save your money. Yeah. But then you have some with, with when you when you give them when you take money from them, you have to give them back that money after like thirty twenty five years. Thirty twenty five years. Th thirty twenty five to thirty years. I mean. Let's pause that. And, okay. Um, for the other one, mm -hmm. you will save it, and then if you have it stored in there, like uh, like quite a bit. For a couple of like years, mm -hmm. now, like every year, they'll start adding your for say five pounds. Okay. Every year. Let's take a step back. They're using your money. Let's they're giving you their money. All right. Well, that's a bit of advanced credit creation that you're but talking about. Still. But let's take a step back, please. So we've talked about banks. Hello. Banks are places where we can save our money or we can borrow money from. Give me the name of some banks. Well. That you know, it may, but it is the place where all of the money is sent to the Bank of England. Well, in England, no, most of the money. Give me the name of some banks that oh. you might that you know of that you've heard so, names of. Lloyd. Lloyd's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't say. That's one um, bank. Yeah. Santander. Say that again. Sand. Stantander, Santander, Santander, yeah, Barclays, yeah, NatWest, excellent. What one has Daddy been talking about recently? Begins with a ma, ma, metro, metro bank. Oh wow! Okay, so you know. So you've named all these different banks. Just to name a few. Just to name a few. Okay. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. So what 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 is different about all of these banks? Well, first of all, there you can you can access them on your phone. Okay. And you can like make payments and transfer some of your money to other people's accounts. Oh wow, okay. So you or you, with a few clicks of button, someone else has got some of your money. 
So if you've got money in your uh -huh. account with your phone or your computer, yeah. you can send money to other people. Yes, if you if you want to, of course. Okay. And you can check like how much money you've spent, mm -hmm. how much money you have left. Okay. And all of these banks, it's not like they're just in one place. Like if Barclays is in London, there can it. But this can be in lots of different places. Oh, wow. It's not just one place, like London or something. So there are a number of different banks, and that's where people have their money saved. And there's not just one bank, so they could have lots of different... They're called branches, okay? Branches. All around the, com right. all around the country where you can go in there to talk to somebody about your money... Or you could go oh, in there to pay in or take out money. I've forgotten something. What have you forgotten? In some banks, yes, you have little um, cubes. I think they're called or like drawers. Yeah. And then, if you want, you can. You, there's a lock, and you can store jewelry in it, so no one else can get to it. Oh wow, well, we're talking about safety deposit boxes now. That's what it's called. Okay. Because I was calling it boxes. Or okay. Things. And so then you put it in whenever you want to take it out or you need it. You just do the code, give let give them your let them give you your key and then open it. Oh wow! Okay, so a bank so banks can be used for many reasons. There can be places where you can save your money. So why would someone want to have their money in a bank? Why would you not have all of your money at home or keep it in a piggy bank or keep it? Uh, under your pillow or something. Well, first of all, if you're not in a piggy bank, well, then you'll need a lot of piggy banks. Okay. And you wouldn't have time to put all of your money in, take all of your money out, mm -hmm. would you? If you're not in your pillow, think, every time you lay on that pillow, wouldn't it fall down the side of your bed? Okay, that's another good reason. And if you keep it in a bank, no one can steal your money. Okay. So like, Why is that? Because things, it's not like they can just steal jewelry or stuff from your, and it, they can just steal stuff from your house. They can't steal stuff kept locked away safely in the bank. What's, what's the difference between a bank and your own house? What's the difference? Why, do, why is your money more secure usually in a bank rather than your house? It is a lot safer. Why? And because has a thief ever robbed? I mean, has has a lot. Ignore what I just said. So, if you have a lock combination or like a lock in your house or secret drawer, mm -hmm. that if if they've been there for like a few minutes, okay. they can easily find it or you can just fix out the lock. Right. With a bank, they have. Security cameras. Security cameras. Some homes have them. Okay. But some homes, on the other hand, don't. And then you'll probably get you if you're asleep or something or you're out of the house. Mm -hmm. You, you probably someone's. You probably won't even know. So. So. What you're. What you're basically saying. Basically, a bank is safer, cause. They have security cameras and they'll tell them instantly that if. Thief is on the loose, so they can keep track of all of the money, and they make sure that they are all safe. Got it. So one question for you. Yeah. Let's say I've got a bank account. Yeah. How do I add money to that bank account? What do I need to do? You add money to that bank account uh -huh. by. Well, here's one way. You can exchange some money from someone, so they give you some money on your credit card, and you give them the money in cash. Let's or 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 or. or da, 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 da. Uh, so yeah, what were you gonna say? Let's say I had a hundred pounds in my pocket, and I wanted to put it in my that's, bank that's account. That's unlikely. You would have a hundred pounds in your pocket. Okay, but, but if I had maybe like if I had a hundred pounds in my pocket or, and I yeah. wanted to put it into my bank account, what would I need to do? To do that, you would. Well, I'd need to take that hundred pounds, 
and you've already said that there's lots of different banks and they've got branches everywhere. Oh, I would go yeah. in there and what would I do? You would go in there and tell them, hello. Okay, very important. <laughs> My, give them your ID. Okay. Tell them. Or your bank card. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them you're over blah, 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 like an age. Yeah. Because they don't really want, like, teenage thieves a disguise to come in or, like, young thieves. So you'd you know? give them your bank card to prove who you are. Yeah. And you'd give them your £100. And then. Yes. They take it. Yep. And they would use that £100. Yeah. And they would put it on your bank account. So they'd put it on your bank account. Excellent. So that £100 is now in my bank account. So now what can I do? If that money's on my bank account, how can I now go and spend that money? Well, you didn't need to transfer in the first place, okay. but it will be a lot more easier and efficient if you did that, like how, how you've done it and transferred it onto your bank account. But so now... Where's your phone? You can just scan it or use your credit card. So let's say I got, I've got £100 in my bank account because I've just paid it in. And then I've gone to a coffee shop and I've got a coffee because you know Dad loves his coffees. And I've paid, let's say, £5 for that That's coffee. A lot for a coffee. It is a lot for a coffee, but it's a big coffee. It's a nice coffee. So let's say I had £100 in my bank account. You have £95 left. Brilliant. Amazing. But you don't forget... You'd, banks aren't free. They work on money. Okay. So you need to give them that money first. Yeah, so you need but to... But then the government also pay them probably. All right, okay. So we're going to get on to that. Money. Now, that's <laughs> that's all for our first episode. Now, in the and next then... episode, we're going to talk about how parents, how they uh, make their money and how they get their money into the banks, okay? Didn't we just talk about that? We spoke about that yesterday, but we're going to do that now for this podcast, okay? Yeah. Fantastic. So we hope you've enjoyed our first episode about Amira and Daddy Riz talking about money. Money, money. Money, money, money. And this is one of many episodes in this series. Exactly. So join us again and we'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.